Hi everyone, welcome to RHB Bank's podcast series. I'm Nova Lui, Head of Investors Advisory, RHB Bank. Today I will be sharing with everyone the fund discoveries idea for quarter 3, 2022. Let's take a look at the industry fund flow in the second quarter of 2022. Bulk of the outflow in quarter 2, 2022 is from money market fund. We have observed also some outflow from single sector and single country fund. However, the outflow amount are minimal. While top info category remains as global equity fund, this is the same with quarter one this year. Equity market fund make it to the second most info in the last quarter, potentially due to investor taking opportunity to buy local equity market at low entry point. Beside all-time favorite of China and Asia Pacific equity fund, we have also observed inflow into Singapore equity funds. In today's podcast, I'm going to share with you another five fund discoveries idea for this quarter. First of all is RHB US Value Fund. Most investors who have exposure in global equity fund may likely to expose to growth sector due to UF market itself, which has high exposure in technology sector. RHB US Value Fund offers diversification opportunity for investors to balance up one's portfolio by adding exposure into value underlying to your portfolio. Volatility and slower economic growth in US warrant necessity to look into value and defensive investing style. US value stocks are supported by elevated inflation, rate hike cycle, tighter financial conditions, and undemanding relative valuation. Historically, performance of US value relative to US growth is positively correlated to inflationary expectation. As of May 2022, US value stocks is trading at 40% discount against the US growth counterpart. RHB US value is a feeder fund that fits into target fund managed by JP Morgan Asset Management. As of end April 2022, the fund's three highest sectorial exposure is in financials, healthcare, and consumer discretionary sector. For investors that can take risk to invest into a single country from emerging market, may consider RHP Sharia China Focus Fund. The fund's strategy is to expose into Chinese equity market, which has been bashed down since February 2021, hence it's an attractive entry point. Similar to ESG fund, Sharia investing also adhere to principle of social responsible investing. The funds offer diversification for investors to diversify into China onshore market with its highest sectoral exposure as of end June is industrial sector. Partner with experienced China specialists, the fund is managed by China AMC. On year-to-date basis, the fund gave up almost one-third of its value. However, the fund has bottomed up from its level as of end April 2022. For investors who has low exposure in onshore China equity market, this may be good opportunity for investors to diversify exposure in China equity market. While for investors who prefer a more diversified emerging market fund, may consider TA Asia Absolute Return Fund. The fund manager aims to achieve positive return in any business cycle on a 3 years rolling period. The fund adopts an absolute return strategy or on a benchmark of 8% per annum. The fund manager uses high conviction stock selection using bottom-up approach. Cash and index hedge are employed opportunistically to preserve capital and to capture opportunity during period of market downturns. The fund can even hold high cash exposure in the bearish market. Fund allocation is not benchmark hugging, hence fund manager may allocate into any country or sector which offers positive return to client. As of May 2022, the fund's top three country allocation is Singapore, Indonesia, and India. Investors who prefer a combination of equity and fixed income fund may consider RHP Asian Income Fund. RHP Asian Income Fund is a mixed asset fund that invests in both equities and fixed income. The fund primarily focuses on dividend yielding stocks and fixed coupon direct bonds. The accumulation of dividends and coupons are translated to quarterly dividend distribution to unit holders. During strong equity market, fund manager will allocate more exposure into equity, while in bearish market, fund manager will allocate more in fixed income or defensive 
equity sector. Fund managers actively allocate its asset depending on its market cycle. The fund holds 15% cash as of end May 2022, looking to redeploy to investment when market is more conducive. As of end May 2022, the fund manager's highest exposure is in financial sector, which is potentially benefit from higher interest rate. The fund leverages on the expertise from Shoulders Investment Management in Asia Fixed Income and Asia High Yielding Dividend Stocks. For investors who are looking for exposure into fixed income fund, may consider RHB China Bond Fund. China is one market that is governed on the accommodative monetary policy. RHB China Bond Fund targets to distribute quarterly distribution to its investor. For financial year end 2021, the fund distributed yield of 3.8%. The fund is well diversified across multiple bond paper in various sectors that reduces the potential losses in the event of default. As of end 2021, most of the exposure are in government bond, sovereign bond, and financial sector bond. China bond market is potentially benefit from reduction in prime loan rate and reserve requirement ratio. The fund is managed by its own fund managers from BlackRock Asset Management. That is all for today's podcast. Please view our other podcast and money chat series from RHB Merch to get updates on our latest market insight. Feel free to contact our relationship manager to know more about the funds that is shared in today's podcast. Thank you very much.